Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Standing by in Glendale, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives your defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. This will be fielded at the 8. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, the cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. A bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync, otherwise your quarterback gets hit. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Throwing Jones. Finds his tight end, Ingram. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Jones operating from the gun. It's caught, Shepard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. starters for the New York Giants. And the play of this offensive line is going to be so important in this game because we saw the sack a minute or so ago. They've got to be able to give their guy time to throw. That means communication and being physical is vital. Otherwise, this could be a long game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. 
Open target here, Darius Slayton. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Chandler Jones just keeps getting better and better. Each season, he adds a little more to his game. I wonder if he wants to take on his UFC fighting brother in any time. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That was shades of Tennessee volunteer football back in the 80s with Charles Davis coming up from the secondary to make the tackle for a loss. You mean my teammates doing that, right? <laughs> because they would tell you, my coach would say, where is that tape? I want to see that. But how about the complete package there? Not just playing the pass, but being a willing tackler and making a really nice play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Johnson. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. I can go on and on about Larry Fitzgerald and his numbers, which are considerable, and everyone knows that. But the thing I keep coming back to, he never quits seeking knowledge. Every year, he works with former NFL players who were great wide receivers in order to improve his game, watches a ton of film, always curious, always finding a way to adapt and improve his game. Throwing is Murray on third down. Screenplay, Johnson. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. He dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 17. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It'd be hard to say that the defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. <laughs> when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. From the 35 on second down. Jones, and this is Shepard on the catch. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. On first down, Jones. On the catch, this is Russell Shepard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down, Pat, and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Jones now on first and 10. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. On second down, here's Barkley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The completion good for three, and it's second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. To throw again on second down. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to Goldman. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Got it. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. From four yards out, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Aldrick Rosas on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants.
Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And we look now at the defense for the Giants. Leonard Williams was one of the top draft picks coming out of USC. And he's done nothing to diminish the comparisons people make of past greats. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Murray. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Third and two, and here's Murray. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a nice special teams job here. This is gonna be down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. Well, someone's gonna be happy with that effort. You know who else is gonna be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Ready, ready. 90 Wolf. Hey, we got to stop here, Dean. He's got his man. This is Tate. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the dump off, and it's third down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. 60 Pittsburgh. Coming, coming. Lee Jones on third down. Looking for Shepard deep. He's got a man complete. And they finally are able to take him down at the opposite 47. A big play there for the Giants. 45 yards. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley, and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On 
on second down. Barkley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. But they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Ready up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Go, Big series right here. We got to step it up. <laughs> Back to throw. Jones, a short throw to Ingram. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. It's Barkley on the counter. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now Jones operating from the gun. And Ingram holds it in. Last play they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Looking to throw, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. That's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. Second and five. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Busts like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So on fourth down, on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Rosas puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Oh. 
After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one covers 29 yards, first down. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss, but with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A handoff out of the pistol, it's Drake. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Grant Haley in on the stop. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. On second and nine, Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Murray to throw on third and one. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first and ten, here's Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Gardner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, and he finds Fitzgerald. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 at the 14. Murray now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown as they are now on the board here in the first half. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. Oh, 
And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it. We got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great. Protection's that's where you're been, going. Yeah, protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burt, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to contract time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. He completes it to Tate. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Second and 12, Jones over the middle. He's got his tight end, Ingram. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 29-yard line. down carry for Barkley and inside the 20 before he's brought down it's a gain of 11 and a giant first down they're making it look easy out there another first down so so far on this drive let me do this little bit of math here four plays three first downs that's a pretty good recipe for success to leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 
throwing Jones. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to Slayton. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Rosa's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Rosas to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Flag down. This could set him back. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On second down, it's Drake. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to the end zone real fast. Now on first down, Drake again. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them.
So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 41. First down, Murray rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 in the first. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Now Drake. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Second and seven, Murray. This complete to the tight end, Clay. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's got it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it's up and good. So that drive goes eight plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. On second down now. Barkley. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Giants on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. 
from the gun. Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Jones now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. A quick throw. Here's Shepard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Second and 14, Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 43. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Now Jones. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Chandler Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Jones is going to let one fly for Tate. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. When Leonard Williams was picked in the 2015 NFL Draft, I compared him to Merlin Olsen, and I got a lot of grief about it. Did you just see that play there? Did you see how he made that move and made that tackle? That was Merlin Olsen-esque yeah, right just, there. I just perked up when you said Merlin Olsen. Yeah, a lot of people said, hey, that's too much, too far, and maybe it is early, but I think this guy has a chance of fulfilling that. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. 
And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now at a third and six. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he'll get this up awfully close to a first down, but by the looks of it, might be a yard shy. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Here's Andy Lee now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Taking it about the 16. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The New York set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Well, here's a first down throw that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right over there. Throwing again on second down. Jones, and that is incomplete here. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it's third and short. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Back to throw. Jones got a man, Slayton. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Jones on first down. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's second and eight. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Looking to throw, Jones, and that's incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for New York. 
44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And now let's talk about Kenyon Drake. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. now on first down sliding out of the pocket now the card's going to call another timeout their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play This time they'll just keep this on the ground. And yeah, obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been terrific so far. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. <laughs> They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too. As we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. Ready, ready. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Come on, Dean! Barkley. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Back to throw. Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And the kick by Rosas is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. So it's his third field goal now with the ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you've got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. To the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. To throw is Murray. They'll roll him out right. He'll have a first down past the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Throwing on first down is Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 47. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Charles Clay is tied in the intended target. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and 10. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Screenplay, Johnson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. Murray now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Johnson on the counter. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Throwing on second and 14. Murray stepping up. He's going to keep it. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. 
And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now the former Sun Devil, Zane Gonzalez, for the field goal try. This a 43-yard attempt. Gonzalez's kick is good. And with that, they move ahead by a point here in this third quarter. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. To the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about it. And got his man complete. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Evan Ingram, 74 yards. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. The giant offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught at the three. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Hey. 
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and ten, here's Murray. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. From the gun, a run for Johnson. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Murray now. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Murray now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll run with Drake. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the gun, Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 20-yard line. Trophy winner Murray. He finds his man Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, they'll throw with Murray. They'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Shotgun now for Murray. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, but it'll be second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Charles Clay 
there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that will tie us at 24. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter. Good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. And that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. To throw on second and six, Jones. It's hauled in by Shepard. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. down. Barkley, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Check it up. Check it up. On second and one, Jones. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. here on first down nowhere to escape and he goes down Chandler Jones able to disrupt yet another pass play that is his third sack of the afternoon 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On the draw, this is Barkley. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Throwing Jones. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And with that, they will move out in front by three. Another drive bogs down, but for the fourth time, they're able to escape with three points. And this last one gives them the lead, so that's a good thing. And they've needed every one of these field goals, but it has to feel good to them to know that confidence is there. If we do bog down, they'll give us three points. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. A solid first half for him, and so far a good start to the second half. And I'm going to try not to go overboard with praise here, but I can't help it. He is playing so well. Really accurate with the ball, finding guys open downfield and finding the end zone three times. That'll help, that, that'll help offset the one interception. Absolutely. Just, just that one pick with the three touchdowns so far. Well, you've told me before, it's great to be an athlete. A lot of great athletes out there. It's good to have instincts, and he has those. I would take those above athleticism in a lot of cases because if you know where the ball's going before anyone else can get there and block you, you can make up for a lack of athleticism by being in the right spot at the right time. And took him down in the backfield with those instincts. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Murray going to throw. And an alley to run. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And able to find Kirk complete. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First down, Murray. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Murray looks to throw again, second and 10. And he's gonna go down. They sack him back at the 42. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. Murray with a third and long. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 40. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10, right at the 40. Murray now on first down, and it's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Murray again, second and 10. Incomplete. I think we can make this one pretty simple. That was a rookie mistake made by the rookie quarterback trying to force a pass without really using proper mechanics. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59 yard attempt. And this kick is not gonna get there. It's short and no good. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. Now here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game, are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Ready up. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. 
Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Jones throwing on third and long. And Tate's got it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Jones now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Jones operating from the gun. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. But it'll be second and goal. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Jones. And this is incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. But now it's third and goal. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Looking to throw. Jones to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. And Rosas puts this one through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. 
Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, Let's second and 10. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. To throw again, Murray rolling to his right. He'll try and run it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Murray now on first down. He'll run it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch 41, watch 41. Single, 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 single. To throw again on second down, Murray. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that throw would turn him into a veteran quicker, but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now attempt carry for Johnson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps, and maybe stopping him. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run. And the football, right on the money. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now it's Barkley. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Looking to throw on second down. Jones finds his tight end Ingram. That catch good for five. It's third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. 
And this is going to be incomplete. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Jones, throwing on fourth down. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes just... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. So after the sack here, second and 14. Check 31, check 31. Single, 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 single. Second down, Murray sets to throw. This complete to the tight end, Clay. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 brings up third and four. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that will be incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. He's going to take off with it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Tight down, tight down. There you go. 
Throwing on first down is Murray. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and ten, here's Murray. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And New York set to take the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Then that hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Cassius Marsh just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. No, no, no. Spike. This is Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 18. It's a seven yard gain that gets him back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in. Even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line, they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try and move forward. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Taken right at the 35. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw, it's Murray. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. What did you see on that one? Rookie mistake or just good defense? It was a combo plate, but the rookie quarterback... He'll take it all on his shoulders, and the frustration level 
is evident. You can see it with him. You know, if that's a veteran quarterback, he walks off like he just threw a touchdown pass because he doesn't want to show that to the defense. The young guys, they take it more to heart. It's on their sleeve a little bit. He'll learn as he goes along how to hide his emotions. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They begin with a run by Barkley. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Barkley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by six, a minute 46 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Murray sliding out of the pocket. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball. And right now, I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Now we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Murray to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. And he's got Fitzgerald. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 38-yard line. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Murray. Completes it to Fitzgerald. And he's gonna get this down near the 20 yard line. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Well, 
Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.